China's new announcement of fishing ban in their claimed territories in the South China Sea, including the West Philippine Sea, is unreasonable. According to Commodore Roy Vincent Trinidad, the Philippine Navy spokesperson for the West Philippine Sea, any actions taken by China are considered illegal and in violation of international law. He called this action out of tune and out of their minds. Lawfare is one of the instruments in their cookbook. The ultimate objective of China is sea control of the South China Sea. They will use the different instruments of their national power to assert that. Even President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. himself described it as unacceptable, and Defense Secretary Gilberto Chidoro Jr. called it a kind of provocation. The pronouncement started in 2021 when the law was passed, and each year there is a pronouncement. I have not come across any report that it was implemented. Yes, I have not come across any report of not only Filipino fishermen, but also other Martem ASEAN fishermen, like coming from Indonesia, Malaysia, or Vietnam. According to the Philippine Navy, these kinds of deceptive actions by China are empty threats and merely part of their strategy in the West Philippine Sea. Since the fishing ban was first implemented in 2021, China has not caught any Filipino or foreign fishermen. Yes, sa ating mga kababayan na nangingisda, lalong-lalo sa baho di Masinlok, I would like to say that the Philippine Navy and the entire armed forces is fully supportive of your actions, of your livelihood, which has been a traditional source of income. Huwag kayong matakot, magpatuloy lamang kayo at the AFP and the entire government is behind you. The Philippine Navy, together with the entire armed forces of the Philippines, is ready to defend our fellow fishermen in case China continues to capture and detain those they call trespassers. They also ensure that they are behind the fisher folks and encourage them to continue fishing in the West Philippine Sea. According to the Philippine Navy, even before China announced that they would capture and detain fishermen entering their claimed territory and implement a new fishing ban, they had already increased their forces in the West Philippine Sea to guard our forces and fishermen. When the President gave his guidance of the shift of the AFP from internal security to external defense and the SND's pronouncement of the CAD Sea, the Philippine Navy and the AFP already conducted some reallocation of naval capabilities that will allow us to project further to secure and to protect our EEZ. So to our fishermen, rest assured, bago mo lang nagsabi ang China, na ando na Philippine Navy at ang AFP. Ryan Lacanlale, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.